I got his tough thumbs here. Um, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Um, I'm having a pretty shitty day. My girlfriend's uh, rabbit died, so sitting in a box right next to me. So that's pretty creepy. Got floppy rabbit syndrome or something. Apparently rabbits will just go paralyzed and just die and just start bleeding. So that just happened out of nowhere. So she's upset and uh, yeah, it's kind of sad. You know, we've had it since we uh, started dating, so. Bit of a sad day. So, I seem to have trouble getting started on uh, doing a lot of pimp work, but I got a couple things I pimped here. I, I should probably show you those first before I get into this, guys. I want to show you the fix for the Anzo 67 um, because I, since the beginning, I've noticed these the same problem with it over and over. Um, and with the Haddock, all of Boker frame locks just seem to have the same fatal crappy ass flaw. And uh, it sucks because, you know, you get one brand new, like this one, or this one. These are brand new, straight out the box. Ooh. And uh, blade play, up, down, left, right. And uh, it sucks because I will make a titanium scale for it. It'll fix it, but then it'll start getting the inevitable, inevitable uh, blade play, and suddenly it's my fault. But... Um, there's a reason why it does it, and there's a way to fix it, and I don't know how long it lasts, but at least you can do it um, as you need to. As of this point, I would not recommend, I mean, it's never failed on me. I mean, I love the knife to death, don't get me wrong, but it's never failed on me. So, I mean, there's just some blade play, difficult to get rid of. But anyway, first off, guys, I want to show you some pimp work I did. Uh, this one's a, I got two new colors. I'm pretty excited about both of them because they're pretty awesome. Uh, this first one's for uh, Chavez Project. I think his name is his name's uh, Nick. Um, and this is a knife that I wanted, the Boker S2, and I got it here. And you know, sometimes I get knives that I wanted, and you know, I kind of like you know check them out and stuff when I unbox them, and yeah, you know, and I pimp them, and yeah, I get bored. This guy, I actually think this thing is pretty freaking sweet still, and I've had it for a couple weeks now, and I really like it still. So I definitely would recommend it. It's not the best construction, but it seems to be holding up pretty damn well. So, I mean, not like I'm hard using it, but you know, taking it apart and putting it together can be can be hard on a knife. But for this guy, uh, I, I'm doing a new pattern. I guess I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like you know aliens or like like Geiger Geiger pattern. I'll call it. So uh, there's a new color, new pattern. It is blue and green. I got this at the knife show and I was like super happy. So here it is blue green G10. The crazy UFO pattern. It's basically craters in the middle meeting, beating these grooves on the side. And it kind of looks like some weird alien shit going on here. And this guy I made them thicker. Feels so nice. You see that. OD green and some kind of turquoise it kind of comes together and like almost like a like a aqua green color from far away but definitely fits this knife really nicely flips real nice really cool just need to put a pocket clip on this guy but everything's nice and smooth I mean it looks you know as usual it looks aggressive but it's it's not so don't worry about that. Nice and centered. Somewhat. I'm gonna probably just tighten the screws just one bit. If you guys see like anything off on any knives, don't trust me, I'm aware and it's gonna be a fix. Sometimes I need to show stuff because I don't have enough to show at night. You know, if it's not completely done, like putting the pocket clip on, you know, that could take me an hour, you know, because pocket clips can be a pain in the ass, so I show them almost done sometimes. And most of the time done. So this one is almost centered. I guarantee it just tighten that one bit. So that is the Boker uh, Sniper Blade Works with their Grateful Dead logo. Pretty sweet. I definitely like this stone wash. I have no idea how they do it. It's kind of like little tiny, little tiny lines. I wish I could get that effect. It's sweet. Definitely a big ass blade. But, uh, there's that. And next up, this is something you guys have been waiting for. I've been waiting for it forever. Uh, made an attempt at it myself, but it didn't work out too well. Let's just say that. Um, I thought I could do it, 
the making my own layer G10, but you know, the, the customer I did it for was kind enough to basically give me a chance to try it out, and if it didn't work out, you know, no, no problems, you just send it right back to me, and uh, you know, I'll fix it up uh, with something different, but I don't have to do that now, because I got the same pattern here, same pattern, with the toxic green and black, that's right, Macecraft started selling it, Bob Dozier told me about it at the knife show, and he's like, I'm like, where did you get this G10 on your handles? And he goes, right over there. He points to Macecraft, and I was like, no shit. So I got a couple sheets of this on a paramilitary 2 with a black hardware. S30V. This is a pretty rare one, apparently, so. Yes, looks very nice. As if it would focus. It's a very clean G10, I like it. I like it a lot. This kicks the tiger stripes ass. I just love it. And I've been waiting for this color for so long. Some nice grip on this guy. If you ever do a paramilitary and you get that little click there, that is simply. I didn't mill it deep enough right there, so just got to mill it slightly, and uh, it'll work a lot better. And it doesn't make any sense, but it's pushed over enough to where it push when it opens, it's got, you know, it's already pushed a little bit, so it pushes even farther. Just giving you guys some quick tidbits. I've seen them on the production ones, too. I've seen that happen, and I've uh, fixed it like that, too. But this guy's sweet as hell, so that is available in the colors now, guys. Green and black, toxic green and black, USN style right there. So anyway, sorry I'm listening to Pandora. But uh, right here I got John Wayne's Anzo 67. Uh, anodized, I did some experimenting. It's uh, pretty much just a nice deep like sky bluish. It's really sweet actually. And um, you can see it's nice and centered. The edges have the purple and gold. This doesn't come up on top of it like it did. Um, you know, like if like I, I sent this out, these out to two people so far: John Wayne and um, Alexander Dietz. Uh, e Dietz. Check out his channel if you haven't. And uh, both of them decide to take them apart. Now I don't recommend that after I do something, uh, just because, especially with these titanium ones. This is just. Because I put them together so tight, I put this stop pin in so tight that like when you take it out, um, you basically have to tap it back in, and some people don't want to do that. I, I don't know what uh, Alex or, or John Wayne did, but you know I'm not saying it's their fault at all. But the thing is, um, I get it to a point where it's good, because I always get them with blade play, so I, I get them to basically be rock solid, like this one is right here. Absolutely nothing. Just solid as a freaking rock. Nice lock up and everything. Um, I guarantee you if I loosen this pivot just a little bit to where it's like super loose, like it'll you know start to get blade play. But I figured out, um, I got some advice from some people messing around with it and I've messed around it in the past. I'm not a big fan of doing this, but it's pretty much, there's two ways to fix it. The quick way, which will fix it, is basically what you do, what I use, at least on mine, I got this tin foil like duct tape shit, and you basically take a little piece off. And I'm not gonna do it fully, but I'll show you. You know, it's sticky. Take a little piece. Basically, take the, uh, the stop pin or whatever. Just put the sticky side, or you know, put it yeah this way, or whatever, and just uh, put it in there. Just like basically put it in there and then like tap it with a hammer. You know, put it in there with your fingers and tap it with a hammer, just lightly. And this will basically rip off all around it and you'll see absolutely nothing. And it'll put a little slight layer in there around the edges and everything. Because, yeah, you can see this is, this is what I'm gonna try. But that will fix it. That will fix it and it'll be good. I mean, how long that lasts? Mine has lasted a while like that and I have no problems. But, um, it's getting on my nerves, that's all I'm gonna say. It's just really pissing me off because I know I got two more to do and I know they're gonna do the same thing. No matter how precise I am, I mean, I take my scale and I get that, that um, you know, that, that uh, countersunk area uh, 
exactly right because I just ruined my original scale to basically put a mark or do a drill uh, uh, just drill right there just to get it started just so I don't mess up sorry totally fine I know I drop stuff in videos but this is a G10 that is don't worry um, sorry if I sound moody guys I'm just uh, not in the best of moods you know but um very happy doing my work here so don't worry about that but um, but the best fit, or the best fix that I can think of actually, and uh, I had this in mind, and Dwayne Dwyer kind of confirmed it. He said that you know you'll never see basically one of these on a Strider for one particular reason. Um, you know, basically that destroys the whole knife. I mean, that is the whole. This whole knife is, you know, whether it's got blade play either way or lock or anything, it all comes down to this stupid fucking pin. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate all knives that do it. I mean, it's just a pain in the ass. And all you need, and I want to do this, and if anybody gets one of these from me and they get blade play or something, I want to replace one with something like this. It's basically a pivot screw. You know, it's got basically your same size tube here. So what I would do is drill a hole here, tap it nicely, very nice. I'll sandblast this screw so you will be basically invisible or, you know, look good. And, uh, you know, screw in both sides. And there you go. It won't move because it'll be smushing them together and so just kind of just floating here. You know, just just chilling right there. You know, you knock something, you drop it or something. It, it could slightly shift, you know, and then the whole thing. And you can, you know, you feel it, it moves in there. I mean, if you tighten it and it's down a little bit when that little tiny bit of movement that's in there, it might not work right. Or, you know, it might tilt it on them like really, really microscopic level and you won't be able to see it. and you'll do why the fuck is there blade play and that's why so you know if, if if anybody you know I'm gonna try this with mine um, because I know it will work and I know it will fix it because I on my folder my frame lock folder I have that as a stop pin um, it's it's only for when it's down but you know it's still basically if there's any problems with the knife centering especially you just adjust that and it centers it completely and you know my knife is rough as hell so you can see that you know it's going to go off center and have blade play and stuff because it's just you know a rough rough knife but you know that's the fix for it in my mind so and i'm confident that 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 will fix these two so you know if that ever happens again you know uh, just i'm gonna try that shit so i'm gonna try it on mine and uh, if um uh, if you have one that's getting done and you want that done, email me because I think, you know, it's just going to be the same crap over and over until, uh, you know, basically Boker decides to, you know, you know, make their shit a little bit more precise. But, uh, yeah, and like this, this Strider here, it's got that and this thing is the most solid thing ever. No blade play. None. And it's not even a Strider. It's just perfect. Just because of that right there. Just put them together, no problems. I mean, it's just great. I'm not saying this is better than Shire. But anyway, guys, sorry for ranting on. Just thought I'd give you guys a quick heads up on that. And uh, I'm sorry I didn't spend too much time on these, even though I love them. They're sweet. And sorry this video came up so damn late. But I was done and ready, but then my rabbit died, so I had to take care of that. She died slow, so we had to. We were trying to bring her back. Anyway, guys, guys and gals, have a great night, and please continue to send your pimp jobs. I am not too busy. Please, thank you very much. Holidays are coming up, and I'm broke. Feel free to call your friendly neighborhood pimp. Peace.